In this lesson, I will show you how to fill an object with particles. So first, I will create a font and then hit enter on the keyboard to place the font or the text in the viewport. And then in the network editor, I will dive inside and then I will hit tab on the keyboard and type transform. I will move the text to the up. Okay. And then I will select the font object and the parameter editor. I will type just H letter. So let's create a null by hitting tab on the keyboard and type null. And I will connect the, the transform node to the null and I will type out emitter and I will change the color by hit, hitting C on the keyboard to show the color palette and I will set the black color. So now I will go to the object level. Now if you, as you see the, the object is flat so we need to extrude the letter. So I will dive inside and then in between the null and the transform I will hit tab and type poly extrude. So I will set the poly extrude here and then in the poly extrude I will set the distance for example to 0 0.2 and you see here we have the hole in the back so I will scroll down and check the output back. So now I will move the circles to the out emitter and I will go to the object level. I will select the font object and I will go to particle fluids and this time I will click on this one not the emit particle fluid but flip fluid from object. So I will click once. So now you see we have some particles in the letter. So I will increase the resolution by decreasing the particle separation, for example, 0 0.03. So now we have much more dense particles. And now if you click play, you see the particles falling and going through the grid. So I will go to object level and I will create a plane, ground plane, okay? So in the network editor, if you dive inside and hit L on the keyboard, you see again we have created the ground plane. So now if you hit play, the particles collides with the plane. So we can now add the viscosity for the particles and it's a little bit different from what you saw in the last lesson. So I will go inside the DAP network and in the flip fluid object, you need to set this one, for example, to one for now. Let's put it one for now. And I will select the flip solver and I will go to volume motion and in the viscosity. Now you need just to enable this option and not this one. Okay, so now I will go to flip fluid object and I will set this one, for example, to 10. And now the particles falling down and you see we have viscosity, much thicker fluid. You can set it to 100. Okay. So that's it for this lesson. I will see you in the next lesson.